Man picks up a little monster in the hay. She was only six centimeters long. She had yellow hair and a pair of wings. The man shouted to the sky. Hey! Is this for you, Mom? No one answered. So the man took her home carefully. He checked with the sky one last time. Whose child is this? If no one wants it, I'll take it away. The bird did not answer him. So the man carried her back to the house. When his wife saw it, she was also confused. Is this a bird or a human? Her husband said it looked like a human. Maybe it was a bird man. He had just asked the birds in the neighborhood. Indeed, it was an unwanted child. So his wife rushed out the fruit basket and put down a rag to make a simple bed for now. The girl looked so cute. So they named her Anna because they never had any children. So his wife was very fond of her. She drank some water for her with her finger. Looking at such a cute little one, they decided to raise her. His wife prepared bottles. They also bought a lot of things for the baby. In the mail was a doll. Mary took the doll's dress off and altered it a little. This is the dress for Anna. Then she unpacked her socks. She made Anna a cloak. Her purpose was to cover her wings. Then she pushed the baby carriage into the street. The gossiping women came to see Anna. They kept slobbering at Anna with their big yellow teeth. That's when Mary got upset. She hurriedly pushed the car away. The secret of the wings was not discovered. Slowly, Anna grew up. She didn't even learn to walk, but she wanted to fly. The couple sat in the yard. They watched her fly around the chicken coop. Anna likes to squat here and study the chickens. But the strange thing is, at two months old, Anna can't even call her mom and dad. She speaks words she doesn't understand. Even the food she eats is different from other children. She's a girl with chicken wings. She was raised by her mother, who worked hard to raise her with worms. But to the distress of her parents, she still can't talk. She only makes strange noises. So whether she was doing laundry or cooking, her mother would keep teaching her to talk. For six months. And she failed. She always liked to sit on the high cupboard. Her mother shouted at him to come down to eat. But it didn't work. But every time she saw a spider, she would fly down from the cupboard. She ate the spider in one bite. It seems that she still has the habit of birds in her. Her mother had no choice but to bring her a plate of earthworms and taught her how to use a fork. But she couldn't learn. One day, Anna's mother took her to a restaurant for dinner. Suddenly a hunter came into the restaurant with a pheasant. Her mother was so scared that she hid her in the toilet. She waited for the hunter to leave before going out. When she opened the bathroom door again, Anna disappeared. It turned out that she had flown away from the window above. She followed the flock of birds and flew through the sky because it was her first time to fly. She was a little unskilled. After struggling for a while, she fell vertically into a house. Her mother searched for her for a long time but couldn't find her. They decided to take their luggage and go far away to look for Anna. The girl found a monster in her house. Not only was the girl not afraid, she even became good friends with Anna. These days, they spend a lot of time together. She even gave Anna her shoes, which were 10 sizes too big. She took Anna shopping. Then they came to a big tree. Anna waved her wings happily and flew up to the branch. She lay comfortably on top of the tree. The girl couldn't climb up. She got angry and said she would learn to fly tomorrow too. But today she could only be down there. The next day when the girl woke up, she saw an old couple sleeping under the tree. It turned out that Anna's parents had also come to sleep under the tree last night. The girl told them that Anna was in the tree. They climbed up the tree in surprise but couldn't find her. So the three of them decided to go together to look for Anna. The girl flew into the sky for the second time. She was basically able to master the skill of flying. But she was still a bit unskilled. The flock of birds passing by saw Anna as a stranger. So they came after her. Anna couldn't outmaneuver the ferocious beasts. She fell again vertically. She fell on the roof of the church. The people of the town thought there was a child sitting upstairs. So they called the firemen. Then one of the firemen came to the roof. But Anna was gone. She had already flown off into the distance. Then he climbed up on the wall in fear. An Help. Anna's parents found this fireman. The fireman decided to take them to look for Anna. In a forest, they saw Anna's clothes falling down. They guessed that Anna had fallen down a dry well. Since the fireman was afraid of heights, the girl volunteered to go down into the well. But there wasn't even a bird feather in the well. In fact, Anna was trapped in the forest by the heavy rain. At night Anna was found by the fireman. He bandaged Anna's wound and then, Anna flew away again. Mary was happy to know that her daughter was still alive. So they continued on their journey to find her. Finally they found Anna in a flock of seagulls. But Anna was flying towards the sea. There was nothing they could do. They could only sit on the beach and shed tears. And Anna was not strong enough and she fell into the sea. Just as Anna's parents were about to leave in the car. Disappointed. Anna's father suddenly sensed something. He hurriedly went back. Sure enough, 
He found his daughter washed back to the shore by the waves. After a lot of hardships, Anna was finally brought home by her parents. But the next morning she crashed into the window. It turned out that she wanted the freedom of the sky more than anything else. Anna's parents understood that she didn't belong in the house in the first place. They took Anna outside and after saying goodbye to her, they decided to release Anna into nature. There is a kind of love called letting go, even though they didn't know if she would live or die.